So we were just talking about Mendelbrot sequences, and we found that the calculations made it sort of hard to see what was going on. So we're going to use a little technology here to help us. So my initial value for the Mendelbrot sequence is 0. Uh, and let's go ahead and test that 1 plus 1i point again. Uh, and this is going to compute a sequence of values. So you'll notice that these first few values match the ones that we calculated. And that if we continue on, these numbers are quickly getting really, really big. This e, by the way, means times 10 to the power of, so times 10 to the power of 31. And eventually, they get so big that the computer can't even tell us what they are. Uh, so that one is, in fact, an escaping sequence. Let's try another value. We tried 0 plus 0.5i, and if we compute that one, uh, we had guessed that it looked like it was staying relatively small. And if we scroll down, we see that it is, in fact, staying relatively small. And so this one would be called a, f a fixed point or a converging point. Um, so now let's try a another point here, uh, or we could also call this an attracted point is another name used for this. Uh, let's try another uh, initial value. Let's try negative 1 plus 0i, so the real number negative 1. Uh, notice that this one alternates between 0 and negative 1. And if we were to try something nearby here, my guess is we're going to see something similar where we're alternating between two values. And so this is called periodic behavior. Periodic behavior is when it oscillates between two or three or four values or more. Uh, it's still considered stable, and this point would still be part of the Mendelbrot set. So now let's take an actual look at the Mendelbrot set here. So here is the Mendelbrot set. Uh, and this is really cool. When I click on a point on the left side here, you're going to see the sequence of values. So like if I click here, notice that the values, the little yellow dot there, are all staying really close together. In this case, it's os rotating around that attracting point. Here it's bouncing around a bit, but again, staying attracted uh, to that point. Whereas if I click over here somewhere, now I'm oscillating between two values. Here I'm oscillating between two other values. Here between two values. Here between two values. And actually, anywhere in this little bulb, I'm going to oscillate between two values. Now if I click up here somewhere, now I'm oscillating between three different values. Over here, now I'm oscillating between four different values. And so all these different values of c are giving me different behaviors. And, but all these points are shaded in black here. The points that are shaded in black are points in the Mendelbrot set. If I click anywhere outside of that, this, the, the sequence is going to jump around a bit, but eventually it's going to escape to infinity. Now the closer I get, the longer it takes, and the coloring is based on how long it takes. So the really red uh, points here are mean it's getting really big really quickly, whereas these other colors, like the greens and the blues, means it's taking longer to get large. Uh, you'll notice that one took several iterations to get big. So now let's look a little more. Here is another view of the Mendelbrot set. Um, this one, the coloring is off uh, different, but again, the black means it's part of the set and everything else is colored based on it. And if we zoom in, notice that we start seeing some self-similarity where different parts of this look similar to the whole and yet, in many ways, look remarkably different as well. But you'll notice here, as I zoom in, each little piece is looking a lot like the original. If I zoom in on part here, we get some really interesting spiral shape behaviors that again, as I zoom in, it almost doesn't even look like I'm zooming in. But if I zoom in here, again, this shape looks similar to the whole set. If I zoom in here, this shape looks similar to the whole set. Uh, there's a lot of not exact similarity, but a lot of close similarity in the Mendelbrot set.